Right, uh, if you don't know the man we're about to talk to, well then uh, I'm not sure why you're reading this magazine. Uh, Pete, welcome. Thank you for coming down today. Uh, it's Oof. always a pleasure, eh? and uh, thanks for, for having me. It's a pleasure. Um, the planning session, what, uh, what do you guys plan to, to achieve? Yeah, you know, there's, there's not a lot of big things in life that can go wrong. It's too big. It's those small things that go wrong that become big. And then they can become between you and your success or your organization. So what we try to do in this, in this whole planning session is to bring everybody in, have a collective discussion on everything, um, from using of bus and team room and wives on a tour and all those little small things, that logistic things. Um, and if we can get it out of the way, I think uh, we have, have, have really achieved a lot. Um, so when we get together again, we can focus on the real stuff. Okay, and it's, it's going to be mainly talk sessions? It's not going to be any practice sessions? No, no, no practice now because um, mm. I, will, I, will, I will intervene in the program of, of, of the Super 15 guys if I do take them now onto the field, you know. Right. Um, they will come there so uh, better from a, a previous game. So, um, yeah, for us is now is to put all those small things in place. If we're going to change our line-out calls, we're going to change um, some line-outs, we're going to change some scrums, plays of scrums. Um, we're going to discuss it there and the coaches will sit down, put it into, into, into place and when we get together again, uh, we'll, we'll start practicing those kind of things. Okay, and your, your, your relationship with the Super 14 coaches, are you, do you connect with them, do you speak to them how frequently? I mean, what's, what's, the, what's the vibe on that side? Well, we must understand one thing that um, South African rugby is, 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 is unique in a way that that we differ so much from, from province to province. Right. Style of play, beliefs, all those kind of things. I think our culture from the north to the south is so different. And, 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 and then you do have your, your sponsors who put their pressure on the, on the coaches. The, the coaches do have performance clauses. Uh, everybody had their own preparation time. And then there's those who, who are playing for survival because we do have the kings who will come in as the, as the next super, super uh, rugby team. So, so for you to go out there and tell them what you would love to have, um, it's exactly giving them an excuse and the reason why they couldn't or shouldn't be successful. Right. So I try to stay out of, out of those kind of things. Um, whenever I see the need, but then I'll jump onto the phone or go and visit them and um, have a discussion and see how they, their head works. Right, we're, uh, we're in a World Cup here. Obviously, last year was a tricky one with the Tri Nations and whatnot, but we've we've dealt with that. How are your preparations this year, being a Rugby World Cup year? How's it going to change? What are the, what's going to differ this year from from previous years? Well, to be honest, I think last year was a, a tough year for me. Um, for sure. Um, um, uh, we didn't get the results, and that caused some doubt in my mind. Um, are we doing the right stuff? Right. Are we on the right track? All those kind of things. Um, but it was also the biggest learning curve in my life. Um, no doubt. Luckily, we had the end of year talk, um, and the things that we tried to do during Tri Nations worked so brilliantly um, on that tour that all those kind of doubts just disappeared, and we saw that we were on the right track. Right. Um, I can I can now say to you that I got it wrong during Tri Nations, and that was because of our of our false. Um, indication that we get from 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 curry cup rugby. right because of the think, success at rugby. Yeah, yeah we think that our players are good enough when they when they're successful in in curry cup and there's a lot of them that, that can't make that big jump from from provincial rugby to international rugby right so so yeah i got it wrong um in team selection um the balance wasn't very very good and we couldn't hang on to our games, we couldn't slow ball down and we just went from, from bad to worse, pressure wise. Sure. We put a lot of pressure on ourselves um, by not slowing down a good ball that they won. And yeah, you know, so, uh, New Zealand and, and, and Australia, with, with, with space, they can run any team ragged and we sure. never, never cut down the spaces that were so, so important. Sure. But at the end of year though, we managed to do that. And um, yeah, now I know what will work, what won't work. So the, 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 the preparation is already different in my mind. 
Um, right, you're, you're the book coach. The Springbok, fanat- the Springbok fan base is a ruthless fan base. How has uh, the public scrutiny affected your family life? I've got one thing. I'm a, I'm a strong-willed person. I've got a great character. And I always said to myself, um, winning trophies, winning games, um, results will never define me as a person. Sure. What will define me is my character. And my character never changed. Um, I can, I can, under huge pressure, uh, manage to press out some smiles. Right. Um, I, I don't have any mood swings. Um, to me, every day is a, is a, is a, is a working day. So, right. yeah, um, I managed to, 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 to actually um, get it right not to mix work with pleasure or with family or with church or with... Sure. So rugby to me is a lifestyle. It's not my life. Sure. So it's every, everything else in my life. And, sure. and, 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 and that makes it very, very easy for me to, to handle those kind of things. Sure. But, but your family, obviously, dad, husband, I mean, you're in the public eye. You, yeah, you, you I, know, and how, how does that affect your children at school? I think it affect them more. affect them more than it will affect me because... But one thing I can tell you that um, the one that's studying at the moment at UCT, um, she is as strong world as I am. Right. And um, she respects me as a person a lot because we, we shared a lot of uh, our, our life together. Sure. Uh, and moments, great moments. And she is a successful, she was a successful sports person too. So she's the only one that I'm really worried about because I have to, to, to prove that, that the results are, aren't affecting her. Sure. And at this moment, well, she managed to get onto the merit list of the dean for two years in a row with all this pressure around me. Uh, had it open our discussions with them all and tell them, listen here, this is only the Springbok coach that people are running down, not sure. Peter de Villiers. N- not that, so, yeah. so I can, uh, I managed to, to, to talk these things uh, through with them and it helped a lot. Do the media misunderstand you? No, I don't think the media misunderstand me. I think the media do have their own agenda. Indeed. Um, they want you to be like what they want you to be. Um, they've got an idea on how a coach should be. They've got an idea of what, what they want from a coach in, 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 in controlling him to a certain extent. Now, what they don't understand is that they never, and I'm the first coach, that they never had the privilege to write in as a coach. So they can't write me out of my job. Right. Um, they had an influence of all the other coaches in South Africa. They had a major influence of writing and getting them into the job. You mean promoting, promoting, promoting yeah. until eventually they were right. That's right. right. Okay. For me, it was somebody else that they promoted and I got the job. Okay. So they weren't instrumental in, in getting me the job. So they will never, they will never be able to get to write me out of the job. Sure. Brian Abana, he's a Springbok legend. He's a world rugby legend. Where's he gone wrong? What is, how's he going to get back the form that he once had? Because something's gone wrong. And as a coach right now, forget about the fact that you're a Springbok coach, just as a coach, how is he going to bring it back? How's he going to get back to the form that South African or South Africans have become so familiar with in the past? Yeah, I think it's difficult for him. Uh, very, very difficult because Brian is, if, we, if there's one player, that's, that's been overplayed in this country, it's Brian. Because no one's ever wanted he's, to leave him out. He's paying, he's paying he's now the it. price for five years of constant playing rugby all the time. Right. And, and the harder he tries, the more frustrated he will be. He will sure. become. There's only one thing that will help him now. It's a good break away from this game. Not thinking rugby, nothing. Two months away, come back and be re- revitalized and fresh and, 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 and everything is in place again. I think that that's the only thing that will help him. Otherwise, he will keep on struggling. Um, we all know it. When age up, uh, catch up with you, you go through the same things. Sure. You see the gaps, you see the stuff because you've got a great rugby mind, but you just can't get to there to, 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 to utilize it. So sure. at this moment, I think he, he, doesn't, he, doesn't, he doesn't show it and he doesn't know it. But I think his body can't get to the places in time that he's used to and that's frustrated the mind and, and everybody around him. And I mean going back to basics must be an option because in real terms logistically taking a two month break right now is it's not it's possible is it's it? It's not possible but then again that's the only thing that will that will help the guy if 
Tim, that's what Tim Noakes been been talking all all along. Um, he's the first guy to pay the price. I'm 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 really I'm really afraid that Victor Metal will be the second one because he's also playing around the clock for years now. Sure. And um, and we need guys who are fresh if we want to go to the World Cup.